One of the pages you're going to need for your website is a privacy policy. I found this one online. It does not cost any money. A lot of these will say, yes, I'm a free generator, but then we'll get you all the way to the end and you will have to go through and pay them something. So I've had good luck with this one. Before we get started on the template, let's go ahead and go to your website. Go to your back end. Let's go to pages and let's do add new page. You need to add a new page. It's going to be called privacy policy. So your site visibility is, pu is public and immediately we can add a tag. This is privacy policy. Uh, let's go ahead. We do not need a featured image for this one. Uh, as far as parent page, I want it to be underneath my about page. So I'm going to go ahead and put about and I'll go ahead and push publish. So now I at least have a place to put this uh, information once I get it going. So if I now go back to my pages, refresh, I now have about and I have privacy policy appearing underneath privacy policy. So if I go to my website on the front end, if I hit about, I now need to tell my menus to include that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my tools, uh, go to my design, go to customize. I want to customize my menus. Under primary menu, I want to add an item. So under add an item, I want to add privacy policy. And I want to add privacy policy below about. So you see it was just a drag and drop to make that happen. And to go ahead and make sure I can add social links if I want to on my menus. Create a menu for those items, which is right down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and push publish. And I'll have to go through and work on that social links uh, menu in a little bit. So let's go ahead and go back to the front page, do a refresh, take a peek. So now if I look at about, I've got privacy policy as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go into this terms and conditions template.com. We want to generate privacy policy. We want to go ahead and do it for a personal blog. We need to do the disclaimer and say continue. You're going to go ahead and populate all these all this information. Uh, if you don't want to have that information be on your website, then you need to go ahead and make sure you take it out. And so I've got my name, I've got my name of my site, I've got my Gmail that I'm going to use. Um, I went ahead and put my address on there just because a lot of times it's nice to have some type of real place uh, associated with your campaign. So I'm going to say continue. Oh, it does want to have a telephone number, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in a telephone number. And continue. I'm going to go ahead and put yes on all these. So the first five I'll have yeses and up through cookies. I can't take credit off because uh, I don't want to pay for it, so I'm going to say continue. I do not want to add any of my own thing. I do need to do this little capture right here. and get template. And I got the capture wrong again. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this to plain text and do a click on it. I'm going to do a control A. Or I'm going to just go ahead and select all of this. So control A and uh, I don't want all that. I just want this part. So plain text. I'm going to make sure I've got it all highlighted. I'm going to do control C to copy it. I'm going to go into my page for my website. So I'm going to go back out here to my pages. I want privacy policy. I'm going to go ahead and paste in control V all that information about the privacy policy that I've got updated so far. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my address and my uh, phone number because I really don't want that in there. I'm going to hit update and once I've got update I'm going to go here to about, I'm going to refresh the page, come down here privacy policy and here's my privacy policy for my uh, site. I'm not really happy with how this one is not does not have a bullet but everything else does so I'm going to come into this page and double check and make sure that I go in. Yep, this one does not have a bullet turned on, so I'm going to go in. And where the heck are bullets hiding? 
I'm just going to go ahead and cut this and paste it into the one up above. There we go. Now I've got it. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and update it. So every time you make a change, make sure you update. I'm going to go back here to Privacy Policy. I'm going to refresh. And now Privacy Policy has got that same information in it. So now it's one extra page on my website. And that's basically all you need to do to create your privacy policy page.